Hello, I'm Robin Henning, and welcome to another Exchange Life Nugget of Truth. You know, one of Satan's favorite lies to sell a believer on is that I'm worthless. Now, how does he convince us to believe this? Well, first, he's going to appeal to all the negative messages of rejection that we've received from key people in our lives. You know, maybe we've heard things as severe as, you're stupid, you're never going to amount to anything, I wish you were never born. You ruined our lives. Now, maybe the feedback hasn't been quite that harsh, but society looks at us and evaluates us based on our ability to perform or our appearance or how much money we make, what kind of car we drive, how big is our house, how much education, how many letters do we have behind our name. You know, it's... it's when we get caught in that trap of evaluating ourselves based on the, the elementary principles of the world or the basic lies of the world, Satan is going to make sure that we conclude that we don't measure up. And the only possible conclusion then is that we are worthless. Even as a Christian, we can get caught in that trap of comparing ourselves with other people. You know, because I can't sing like so-and-so, or I'm not as pretty as so-and-so, or I can't preach like so-and-so, or I don't have as many friends as, as this other person, or, you know, I don't make as much money or can't put as much money in the plate as so-and-so. The comparison list can be endless. And the reality is that comparison is always rooted in our flesh. And it's always going to wind up with us coming up short in some way or another. And so again... The enemy will lead us down that path to conclude that we're losers. And losers are what? Worthless. Now, why does this lie appeal to him so much? Well, because it's a direct insult to the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this. What gives an object its value? The price tag, right? When you shop, you're looking at the price tag. That's how much you have to pay for it. But ultimately, it's the buyer who determines the worth of the object that he purchases. Now, who purchased us as believers? You're right. God the Father did. What was the price? The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now tell me, how much was that worth? It's infinite value, folks. You and I, as believers, have been bought with a price. We are not our own. In fact, we're to glorify God with our body and everything, our body, soul, and spirit. We're to glorify Him. Why? Because He's purchased us. He's redeemed us. At what cost? The shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. So each and every Christian has the same value. We're priceless. We have infinite worth in the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what people say. It only matters what God says. And He is determined that we're priceless. So think about that this week. If the enemy sold you on the lie that you're worthless, take some time and pray and renounce that lie. Claim God's truth that you have infinite value and ask the Lord Jesus to reclaim the ground that you gave the enemy through believing that lie. I hope you'll come to understand how precious you are in the, in the eyes of God through the shed blood of the Lamb. Have a blessed week in Jesus.